citizens of the Republic, welcome back to another reaction slash review. Today we're back with the Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 14. Narrowing it down here, we got this episode and uh, next week's episode here. Uh, me and Logan are both really scared. We <laughs> don't know what to expect at, at this point. Anybody can go. Like, no holds barred, you know, it's... You know, our their backs are against the wall. You know, it, we genuinely do not know what's going to happen. And that terrifies us. <laughs> I'm I'm really scared because obviously don't want to see any of them go. Want to see all of them live. Go back to Pabu with the rock and just <laughs> kill for the rest of their lives. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, dude, we're at this point right at the end. We're going to Tantus. With only the bad bat, there is no other help. Yeah, I know, and that's what worries me. I I'm hoping that you know we don't see them like be like, hey Rex, like here are the coordinates, and then Rex pulls up. I hope we see that. Yeah. Um, t I don't know, obviously, because <laughs> we're kind of late. You know, it's two episodes. Could it still happen? Of course. You know, the finale. I'm sure they're gonna have a lot. Uh a lot going on but let's just quit the yapping you know we got two more episodes here so let's go ahead and get right into the episode <clears throat> continues dude we're doing all this laughing at the start here i hope it doesn't turn into the very end we're <laughs> just like sitting here depressed i'm just hoping i don't cry <laughs> maybe That's not what i'm this... hoping for Ooh, oh we're going up tempo this. I need to remember at the on the on the finale to do the. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't forget that. What's the status of the science vessel? En route, but we have a potential security breach. Clone Force ninety nine infiltrated the orbital station with former Vice Admiral Rampart. Where are they now? They fled aboard a stolen ship. Of course they know. The science vessel departed. Of course. No, this so they're, is not, they're already on top of it. Uh, this is not good at all. What is that? Laser cannons. They found me. Who? My brothers. <laughs> My brothers. This is their opportunity to get out, too. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. I mean, how 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 are they gonna get out of this? Oh, here we go. Pretty falling. Ooh, that's sick. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that was, was awesome. That was cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is gonna hit right there. What do you expect me to do? Try not to hit anything on the way down. That's insane. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> that's psychotic. Uh -oh. <laughs> Dude, his scream is way too funny. He's he's gonna he's gonna put it on. Oh, that's he ha that's his only option. Literally the only option. Just take on the identi identity of whoever that guy was. He just doesn't have a hand. <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> that was already completed at the orbital station. Hemlock's orders. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Are you sure we're headed in the right direction? I've been here before. It's not a place you forget. Hmm. This time you're breaking in. I'd rather not do either. <laughs> didn't leave me behind when she True. could have. I owe her. Yes, you do, Crosshair. Did uh, Rampart make it? Unfortunately, yes. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, our defective clones. If you had any common sense, you wouldn't have come here. Wait, you're not authorized. 
authorized to be here. This area is under my jurisdiction. Ah, well, I was uh, checking the manifest. What is going on here? <laughs> oh. Okay. Dude, that's I yes. That's sweet. Look at that. He's gonna try to fall in line, it's not gonna work. Okay, it did. Look at that. <laughs> if something happens and I'm not back in time, cover me. Cover you? What does that mean? <laughs> Watch. If the droids come snooping, stall them. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Jeez. You used to believe good soldiers followed orders. Depends on who's giving them. Mm hmm. Bars. The Empire betrayed us both. And you think you can fight them? That's not you. You're like me, loyal to no one but yourself. I've changed. Hmm. Hell yeah. Sure you have. Uh oh. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> There's so much going on at once. <laughs> Not like we're being hunted down. Oh my god, it's he's oh, laying up against yeah. that Oh no. The Godzilla <laughs> exactly. thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna chase him. It is. That thing is insane looking. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I want record to like suplex it. Oh no. Okay, they're, they're getting some help. <laughs> yeah, they think it's definitely cover for him, too. Oh, quite great. Now he's captured, too. And he's going to rat them out. Oh, 100%. Doctor? Um, I'm... I'm still hungry. <laughs> Might will pass. Hmm. Wow. Oh my god, it's a Zillow Beast. I saw, gonna, people, I saw people talking about how this is something that they probably have under the base. Yep. Set it free. Oh my god. I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'd want to stand guard. On that though, like oh, on that no, bridge, not at that all. one dude is saying, "Nah, miss me on that." Oh, here we go. Oh. Echo. Mm. That's your name, isn't mm -hmm. it? Omega talked about you all. I'm Emery. Omega told us about you too. She said her squad would eventually come for her. Not just her. We're here for all the prisoners you've been experimenting on. I... I was doing my job. Yeah, I've heard that before. You're a clone. How can you be part of this? Omega saw something in you. I want to believe that she was right. Tell me where she is. She's in the vault. But you won't get anywhere near there without my assistance. If we're going to free those children, you're going to have to trust me. Wait, w what children? Omega's not the only child confined inside this base. Let's go. Oh, man. And I'm 
gonna need your help. And that's it. Oh, oh my dude, god. Don't leave us on it like that, dude. Come on. It's, dude, the finale is definitely about to be like over an hour. It has to. It has to be. If it's like 20 minutes, I'll be like, dude, there's no way. <laughs> okay. No I want to pause this here on to show you something because we missed it. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Dr. Scolder. It's literally the second one here. When I went back through and edited the last one, it was there too, uh, but we just missed it. That's that's the yeah, name yeah. of the doctor. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god. Dude. I mean, we're really like we're really kicking it up. Like First off, they were dropping bars this oh, episode, <laughs> dude. Did Tony Gilroy write this? Like, like dude, they were across the bars. board. They're dropping mad bars. Across the board, they are dropping bars. I love that Emery is helping. Mm-hmm. So do I. As dude, she should. I at this point now. At this point now, I am scared for uh, Echo the most out of anyone because he is literally inside the base. And he knows the most out of all of them, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I just need him to get out, dude. Get out, please. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to get... I mean, the thing is, it's going to be crazy, this finale. Like, there was a lot happening in this episode. Yeah. Like, you know, like, Omega's side, Echo's side, uh, and then the rest of their side, like, Hunter, Wrecker, uh, Crosshair, and Rampart. Mm hmm Well, now we're going to get Rampart side because he he got captured. Um, So we'll see what happens with him. Obviously, like you said, he'll probably rat him out because that's just who Rampart is. Yeah. But we're going to have... <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be jumping around again quite a bit in this last episode. Yeah, I mean, dude, this was like this this episode was short, mm -hmm. but it did not like slow down at all. Dude, it was up tempo the whole time. It was it was actually insane how how much was covered in this episode, I feel like. Yes. So like, there was a lot. Oh my god, dude. At this point, I'm just waiting for the <laughs> to see what happens, you know, the the grand finale of this series. I love how this whole week leading up to this episode, I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, they're going to make it to the base. Like they're undetected. They're completely fine. And what we're going to see like some, some stealth mission go down for yeah. them to get into the base. <laughs> and literally within five seconds, it gets revealed that they know that. <laughs> that we believe it's Clone Force 99. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you know that? <laughs> oh my God. That's way too funny. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, love really, the uh we're in I, it I love the whole week. thing going on with, with Omega and the other kids. Like Oh yeah, they're gonna I, have I love own. the fact that they have no idea what Omega's even trying to say or do. Because oh, yeah, they just hilarious. I mean, they are true kids. Like, like just, Omega yeah, just, is yeah. a lot more grown for her age. Yeah. Just like you know, just like every other or uh, clone trooper would be, so it makes That's sense. True. So it makes sense. But yeah, no, it is really funny seeing the the other kid just be like, "Cover you." What do you mean <laughs> by that? Uh, and then Emery's reaction to all the stuff that Echo was saying, like, yeah, she and I mean, we saw that throughout the season. Like, she knows she and she knew that. It was the wrong thing, but like, at least at the time, what could she do? You know. I mean, she could literally could have done nothing. Essentially, I mean, like now that all of this stuff is happening, they can do. She, like, she is able to actually do something. But exactly, yeah. So, I'm, I'm I'm actually hoping also for like, you know, like all the clones that are like in prison, like. They release all of them, and then it's just like straight chaos to the. Yeah, whole I mean, base. well, it's it's definitely going to be chaos because 
Omega and the other kids are going to let out the Zillow Beast for sure. Like, there's a guarantee. No, that's going to be insane, dude. That's going to be so crazy. I'm, I'm wondering why they have the Zillow Beast there. Yeah, I don't know. That's because I think their I think their whole thing was like during the Clone Wars. I think Palpatine like he wanted the like the what, what I mean. What would you call it? The the scales or whatever because yeah. it's like the hardest material ever. Like it can't even it can't be punctured oh, or anything. Yeah, yeah, that's like, exactly yeah. But then I think they. I mean, they cloned it, obviously, or somehow because we saw the the small Zillow Beast in the second season that turned into the big Zillow Beast. So yeah, yeah. I so I'm wondering if like they're still trying to do that stuff with the armor, or it's just straight up they're trying to make an like an army of Zillow Beasts. <laughs> no, that would be crazy. An army of Zillow Beasts. <laughs> that would be wild. <laughs> That'd be absolutely insane. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a given that that is gonna that's gonna get released and cause chaos. Oh yeah, at this point, like they already like showed it. And I I don't want to theorize about it too much, but I at least want to bring it up because it it was obviously something that they wanted to point out was the exchange between Rampart and Crosshair. Yeah. Or Crosshair says he's changed and rampart says like that's what you think yeah yeah that's so i wonder yeah. if we're gonna get a crosshair being selfish moment or we're actually gonna see that he's changed and we're gonna see a crosshair sacrificing himself moment there's no in between as well no it's one or the other <laughs> yeah and I don't know which one I'd rather see. <laughs> I really don't. I'm like, I've, dude, I've been saying it from the start. I've been saying it from the start that if Crosshair would sacrifice himself for Echo, that is like the perfect thing. But yeah, also, no, I could see Crosshair for Omega. Yeah, that's true too. Uh, at this point. All, literally just because of what happened in this season. No matter what, I mean, so, someone or multiple of them are going to die, and I'm going to ball my eyes out. Yeah, I'm really not ready. I, I'm really not. <laughs> I Like you said, multiple could just straight up go. Yeah. Multiple of them could just go. and I'm, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I'm fully expecting that. I know. I'm, I'm expecting be... one of them to make it out. I don't know who. I, I'm going to be absolutely miserable next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be miserable next I week. I think the one real. that makes the most sense to survive is Hunter. Hunter or Crosshair. Really? I don't think Wrecker's yeah, making say, it out. As you say, Crosshair wouldn't, would be a good second option. Yeah. I, I dude i don't know it's there's i don't know i'm so worried there's so many like clone troopers there and so many there's like a million commandos there like <laughs> yeah and those are like command commandos are like crazy and there's like a lot of them there. <laughs> so either way i, I want to say this i'll probably say it next episode too at the end of it just to you know really encapsulate the whole experience but i i feel like i've been saying most of the season and i feel like i said this at toward the end of last season as well i'm really like i i want to say that this is my favorite show like that this is my favorite star wars show and i still don't know if i'm ready to say it I have a feeling the finale is probably going to solidify it. But I think something else that has really made this show connect a lot more is this is this is the show that me and you like like we watched the first season together. Yeah. yeah. We watched 
th- we we saw we did reactions to the second season and to this season. Like me and you have seen this whole show together every single time, every single episode. And two of the seasons have been on recording where we sit and talk about it for an extended period of time afterwards as well. True. And I think that has definitely added to the experience of this show. And another reason why I feel like it's so high up for me. Yeah, no, this this is definitely like <clears throat> made me enjoy the series even more. Just sitting here talking about it, think what we're thinking, how we feel about the characters, the story, the really literally everything about the show Mm -hmm. is definitely made me appreciate the show a lot more and even prior seasons before like yeah from where we started from order 66 in that first episode to now i mean it's just it's been a a crazy ride you know it's only you know three seasons you know might not seem like a lot but (laughs) It's actually quite a few episodes. And it's, it is a lot of episodes, man. Yeah, it's been quite a few episodes, and it's been, I mean, it's been an absolute blast. So. Well, I think that's where we end this one. Oh, no. We end the second to last ever Bad Batch reaction. That's actually kind of depressing. <laughs> that is... That's I'm, so depressing. Dude, <laughs> I'm already getting depressed before I, I don't even a uh, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Next I'm... week is gonna be the most Ugh. ridiculous depressing. It's gonna be bad. It's the most insane <laughs> thing ever. It is Ugh. it is by far in, in my time as a Star Wars fan, which has literally been since I was a kid. I th- I think I can confidently say this is the most excited I've ever been for something. Yeah. It's been this a minute. This specific episode coming up, this finale. It's been I a minute since I felt like this. That and, like, the end of Clone Wars, I feel like. <laughs> the end of Clone Wars was crazy. I was honestly... I know a lot of people weren't hyped for it, but, like, I was really hyped for Andor because I, like, had really, like... I didn't have high expectations, but, like, I, I knew, like, it was going to be, like... I mean, I didn't know it was going to be as good as what it was, but I knew it was going to be pretty good, like... Yeah. Like, I had predicted... Like, I told you, I talked to you about it before it came out. I was like, I think this might be, like, a top three show. <laughs> and it turned out to be the best one, so... um, But, yeah, it's been a minute since I've really been excited. Probably since I've seen... Probably Revenge of the Sith in theaters when it came out. Yeah, like, I, uh, I never saw those in theaters, but, like... And I was, like... <laughs> four years old or something yeah i felt like i couldn't be excited for five years old because like i i wasn't i was barely even conscious enough to know what was happening that's true i just know that my mom told me like like i was so excited to go see it because i was like the biggest anakin fan of all time <laughs> like I, that was like my movie <laughs> like uh, i mean maybe there's some episodes that i could pick out that i've been super excited for you know like the finale of kenobi some True. of the season finales for Mando, even some individual episodes, like literally in the middle of the season for Andor. <laughs> yeah, and dude, Andor was so good. But I feel like a lot of the super big episodes in a lot of these series, like, come out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. That's but true. this one is like we have built up all the way to this, and it is such a big deal. And. I love the show so much that knowing that it's the end, that's another reason I'm so excited for it. Well, maybe I shouldn't say excited because I don't want it to end, but... Excited and nervous. We'll just go with that. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, well, that'll be it for this reaction review, and (laughs) we'll we'll be back next week, (laughs) and I will try my best to not cry on camera. (laughs) (laughs) Ha <laughs> <laughs>